Hey, good day everyone. It's Camping Cassidy from Casper. Uh, we're going to take a look at a 2023 Jayco Eagle 28.5 RSTS. So this is a really unique beast. So this is a 31 overall foot uh, trailer and it has opposing slide outs on it. So it's basically one of the smallest fifth wheels that you can get opposing slides on. Really opening this thing up on the inside and giving you tons of room in a shorter package. So let's start taking a look at this thing. We have a capital griddle, a very large capital griddle. Three different burners on this thing, all hooked to, to the J-Port uh, system. And you can quick connect your LP hose to the trailer. And so you're not gonna have to worry about dragging along a uh, extra propane tank for that. So that's a great feature to have. Over here into our outdoor kitchen, we do have a 110 refrigerator. And so obviously that's only gonna work well when hooked to power. However, not to worry, drop by Albertsons or Safeway on your way out camping, get yourself a block of dry ice when you're going boondocking. So you'll be able to use that guy. I have a pull out drawer here. Great place to put all your utensils. And we've got a few different lighting selections. So if you're in the LED mode, you can just go LED mood lighting. Maybe you want lighting only. So you got some nice options there. We have a GFCI 110 outlet over here and USB uh, charging ports over there. Uh, we have a, a bird bottle opener. You know, Goose, the bird. Uh, so that's always kind of nice. Uh, up top here, we got hookups for a TV. So if you did want to do a TV up here, this shelf would be easily uh, removed and you can uh, hook that in there. Now this 110 outlet up here is kind of special. That is uh, a inverted inverter outlet. Um, so it's like, like this. Um, and so anyway, through the 1800 watt inverter, this will run off the batteries. So, and I'm gonna point out a few more outlets on the inside that's gonna also show you the same. All right, let's take a look next here. We have our Moride solid steps here with a nice little assist handle. And this thing, if you have concern about safely getting up into the unit, this thing got, has handles uh, like crazy. So let's take a look. So handle, next assist handle, open our friction hinge entrance door. We come up in here and we have one more handle on the inside right here. So Jayco has definitely gone through some nice lengths to assure that you can safely get up in this coach. I'm gonna show you the ease of this assist handle. Woo, that's nice. So that goes up nice into place. You don't have that cut out anymore for those flip down steps. Up in and good to go. While those are up, you can kind of nicely see you have a little, uh, little accent lighting below. You need to adjust uh, for different uh, levels of, uh, of your campsite. You can adjust these legs individually. Uh, new for 2023, we have an observation system prep on this unit where you can actually get a Furion camera and pair that to a monitor inside the unit. So you can kind of see what's going on at the entrance of your coach. All right, let's uh, check out the pass-through. Automatic lighting, awesome. Or you can turn them on uh, completely or set them in auto mode. All right, let's take a look in our pass-through storage, see what's going on in here. So as you guys saw uh, from the thumbnail, I can pretty easily fit in here. Uh, so a ton of storage in here. Jayco does a super nice job of finishing everything off. Nice little access panels to get to things that you need. You see our aluminum superstructure. We have some radiant barrier, uh, keeping the coach warm. Uh, over here, so this unit does have the extreme weather package on it. So what that gives you is 110 uh, heat pads on your holding tanks. And it also gives your water lines in this unit 
uh, 12 volt uh, heated wrapping on those. So if you do get into some super cold temperatures, this thing's gonna help carry you through with that package. So very nicely done in there. Over to our propane tank and having the dry camping package on this unit uh, that does give us two 40 pound propane tanks. So a little extra propane on board. We have an observation system prep on this unit. Again, so kind of like the entrance door, we can also get side cameras on each side of the unit, the entrance door and the back of the unit. So you can really be aware of what's going on. Now up front here, we do have the Kurt Turning Point pin box. If you have a short box pickup, we can actually make this work to swing side to side so you don't have to get a sliding fifth wheel hitch for your truck, saving you money. So let's take a look underneath here. This little catch up there. So this unit having the dry camping package, it is prepped and ready for a built-in generator. So on this particular unit, you would want to do a 5,500 Onan propane generator. Uh, and we do keep those in stock. So nice battery compartment here. This is set for, if you wanted to, you could do up to four batteries on this unit. Typically we would just do two batteries, but having the Overlander solar package and uh, if you're planning on going off the grid, you might want a little more battery power to go, so. All right, let's go check out the utility side of this. So, a little bit smaller on this side because they do make room for our outdoor convenience center. So we got a nice little coily hose for a sprayer. A hookup if you wanted to do a portable solar panel black tank flush our excuse me our city water connection fr fresh water fill we got a black tank pole and our two gray tanks and you can come up from the bottom here with some of your uh, water connections and so you keep that kind of nice and concealed over here we have our battery disconnect switch and then if you want to run the auto leveling system of this manually, you can certainly, certainly do so by running that. Or you can run that through the VM, VM Pro on the inside or from the app on your phone. So got a few options there. Uh, also under here real quick before we check out the rest, we do have our 1800 watt inverter, uh, part of that Overlander 2 solar package. Um, if you're into taking long showers, we do have a Purion on-demand water heater in this thing. So, great way to uh, get a little, little bit longer than your average uh, water heater. Alright, let's go check out the back of this thing. So, standard roof ladder on this. The Jayco's uh, factory 2-inch receiver hitch. A lot of them are a little worried about calling them tow, tow hitches. Jayco just calls it out. This is a tow package. So that is good for 3,000 pounds of tow capacity, 300 pounds of, uh, of hitch weight. And that does come with a uh, four-way flat wiring plug on there. Um, a lot of times we'll change these out for seven-way uh, wiring plugs just to give you a few more options of connectability. All right, let's go up top and see what's going on up there. All right, guys, here we are, rooftop on the 2023 Jayco Eagle 28.5 RSTS. I like to always start with the Magnum Truss roof system on here. They actually use uh, plywood on this and not chipboard, and they actually screw that down to the roof truss and set a staple like a lot of manufacturers. And then, then they use a two by two uh, block uh, for support where a lot of other manufacturers are just using metal scrapping as their supports between the trusses. So definitely a lot stronger roof system. So we got our Coleman Mach air conditioner also up here. Wine Guard Air 360 digital TV antenna. And in our bathroom, we have a nice little fan in here with a built-in cover over top. So you can leave that going while it's maybe raining or snowing outside. 
So that's always good. A little skylight over the shower. And then we got this mammoth of a solar package on this thing, this Overlander 2. These bad boys are 200 a piece. And that's not, and we're not even done yet. We could add more to this system, uh, to the 30 amp controller on the inside. So she's a, she's a beauty. Then we got an air conditioner up top here as well uh, in the bedroom. All right, let's go check out the inside, see what that thing looks like. All right, guys. So we're inside the 2023 Jayco Eagle 28.5 RSTS. So as we were talking on the outside, this is a, a shorter uh, fifth wheel with opposing slides, giving you tons of room in here. So really opens this thing up nicely. Still maintains some nice countertop with the island kitchen. Also with this island kitchen, it definitely gives you some access to some storage. So we got decent sized drawer on the bottom. That, that one's pretty deep. These get a little more average as you go up. A little more storage in here. And we have our classic Jayco 5050 stainless steel sink, stainless steel drying rack, and a chopping block over here. So, got a nice pull down faucet here. And with the water capacity of this unit, it will take you a little ways. This thing has got 81 gallons of fresh water on board. So that's more than most manufacturers uh, have for this class of trailers. So it's a good option for you. So over to our cooking area. In the back, we do have a butcher knife holder in the back, which is cool. Nice little flip over glass folding rack. Nice flat cooking surface here over three burners. Our indicators for the stove on. So that's a great uh, safety measure there. Um, I love that. And if you're worried about conserving power, you can shut these little LED lights off as well. Nice oven in there. And then that pots and pans drawer down on the bottom. And this is a pretty good sized microwave, much bigger than, than the standard. So I think that will uh, open up some options for you. Cute little drawer there. And we have USB plugs over here. So some more storage in there. Now we've got an eight cubic foot gas electric refrigerator on this one. So pretty, pretty good size fridge. All right, moving down to, we got a flat screen TV. Now this is on a swimming bracket, so that will open up some options for you. If you wanna kinda go that way, go this way, that does give you a few options to go. And then that will lock back into place. Now this one does have a JBL sound system in this one. We got speakers right here, and they are also JBL speakers in the ceiling of this coach. Got a 30, 30 inch Fury on fireplace down on the bottom. Now at the back of this rear living coach, we have a trifold sofa, 110 plugs on each side, and USBs also on each side. I wanna show you guys how quick I can put this trifold down. All right, there was our trifold sofa going down in fast forward motion. Um, I'd like to say I'm that quick, but uh, I am not. So we got a nice little trifold here. And for those who haven't seen me on one of these to get a reference of how long my feet do hang off uh, the end of the furniture a little bit. But, you know, to me that doesn't bother me. I know some people it may, but this does make for a great place to put the kids, grandkids, or maybe, uh, you know, a couple of adults that are spending the night. So it does give you a good option uh, for sleeping. So we're going to go back up with this. Put these cushions back into place. This 
speaking of sleeping back here, uh, you'll take notice of the nice black roller shades on the back here. Definitely does a great job at keeping the light out of the unit. All right, let's go on over to the Stacy Stewart theater seating. Oh gosh, that's pretty good. So, you know, for being a taller person, I think they're still super comfortable, you know, and can fit on here pretty well. The thing I like about this floor plan is it is directly across from the entertainment center, directly across from the fireplace, giving you some nice viewing that you're not interrupted by someone else within the coach moving around. So got cup holders here, got a little snack bin there. I like that one. And then conveniently located, we have USB plugs on the sidewall and little lighting switch for this area of the slide out. All right, let's go check out our booth dinette. And I'm gonna show you guys how this thing comes down. A little side note first, we also have little individual lights for this side of the slide and USBs right next to the booth. All right, let's see how this thing goes down. All right, so that was pretty quick. We got the booth dinette up. I want to just give you a little reference point. So I'll have to go sideways on here, but I think a lot of people could fit end to end and gain two more sleeping here. So you could, in my opinion, sleep up to eight people in this coach two in the bedroom, two on the trifold sofa, two on the theater seating, because why wouldn't you? It's pretty comfortable. And then two over here. So nice sleeping accommodations. And I don't know if you can see in that fast forward motion, but I want to show you this mechanism on the table here. So it's kind of this cool little built-in scrub deal with Jayco. Takes all the effort out of it. You come up and clip that baby back into place, put your cushions down, and you're good to go. Okay. So let's check out our pantry. So it comes with a little uh, a little whitewash marker deal, so you can kind of uh, add a little uh, add a little character to what uh, to, to your day, which is nice. We have automatic lighting in here, nice shelves. So tons of room for, for your items and a little more up top there. Check out over here, a little more pantry action. And then I like this, this is kind of, it's kind of like a, it's like a pantry, it's like a closet, it's like a, uh, a coat rack. So you got your little, uh, your little hooks there for your coats and you can clip that guy up and magnets in place. Gives you a nice long hanging space there. Or, you know, put that guy down and stack some things up in there. Gives you some good options. Now, while you're enjoying hanging out in this unit, you're on a nice hot summer day, you're not gonna hear the roar of the air conditioner in this unit. It does have the um, whisper quiet AC system in this unit. So you're not going to hear that just rush of air on this. It's going to distribute it nice and evenly and keeping you guys cool. So, all right, let's go check out over here our BM Pro. Now, this is going to control all of your functions in the unit, whether your climate, your lighting, your motors, your holding tank capacities, uh, your, your solar, all of that is going to be controlled here via the touchpad. You could can also control some of these functions via these manual switches below. And you can also control them from uh, the J Command app on your mobile device. All right, let's come on up here. Check out the bathroom. Do got a nice little sliding door here. stuff okay there we go so this is actually pretty slick i think this is a new feature for 23 they actually have a magnet here and it actually is very strong i don't want to seem like i'm weak but that was very very strong okay so conveniently located got a toilet paper holder right next to uh the throne and this is a porcelain foot flush uh, commode. So 
that one's a good one. Got little towel hooks here. Now this fan, you get a few different functions on this thing. So if you want just the fan, click once. If you want just the light, click twice. Or if you want both, click three times. So that's a, that's pretty cool. This is uh, relatively new. All right, on over to our radius shower. So got to do a little duck going in. But once you get inside this bad boy, so not only the first thing I feel is a very sturdy platform here, and I have a pretty good amount of room to work in here. Decent head height. Now I am up into the skylight a little bit, but still not touching the top. And we got this waterfall of a shower head here. Uh, with that and the on-demand water heater, I think I'm. Uh, I think I'd really enjoy this. And they have this little button on here to pretty sure shut that water flow off like the old ones used to. So still got that good option there. And then you get two built-in shelves here and here. So speaking of that on-demand water heater, we have our Furion switch for that conveniently located right next to the shower in the bathroom. Decent size medicine cabinet there and love the backlighting on that. You can uh, turn that on and off. Pretty good amount of storage below there. All right, over to the linen. So definitely like the linen in the bathroom. Keeps you from running throughout the coach with not many clothes on, searching. So we do have a nice little sliding door here as well. So give a little privacy between bedroom and bathroom. All right, let's go check out the bedroom now. So the nice long or tall hanging area for hanging some clothes. We have two dresser drawers over here. Nice good latches on there. We have a 110 plug here, a little individual light. And now nothing too crazy on either side here, but this will give you a little area to, to fold some clothes and such. But I love the individual reading lamps. I always think that is super nice. But here's where it gets good, guys. So up here, we got USBs uh, up on the wall here. And then we do have a inverted outlet on each side of the bed. So if you have a CPAP machine or other items that you need, um, you know, for sleeping, uh, this thing not only has a nice nightstand on each side, you do have an inverted plug. So you can go through the night off the battery power of this unit to power those 110 plugs. So great, great feature to have. All right, let's see. So we have a 60 by 80 queen bed here. That is a standard queen. Nice strutted bed and a very good amount of storage uh, beneath here. So definitely makes room for a, a lot of camping supplies. All solid wood in our Jayco, no chipboard. So I hope you guys enjoyed walking through the 28.5 RSTS. Uh, if you guys want to see anything else on this unit, Hit it in the comments below. We'll be happy to go back through this and take a look at it and try to get you a shot. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Uh, we're having a blast doing these things. And uh, again, we're Smith RV in Casper, Wyoming. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.